Do you know that this first chapter of the first book of the Bible has a hidden love letter from God to us? At first read, it appears that the purpose of Genesis chapter 1 is to tell us that God is the creator of this universe. Yes, that is the message. But there is also a hidden love letter from God in Genesis 1. God could have simply written that the entire universe was created by Him, period. However, God went at length to tell us the order of creation, light, sky, plants, followed by sun and moon, Then the sea and air creatures. The land creatures. And finally, he created man. If you examine the order of creation, you will discover that Adam and Eve were created last. Why? This tells us that God's plan was not for men to labor. God's plan was to have men entering into this world celebrating with God all his creation. Just like a good parent welcoming a newborn baby into their lives. They love the baby and long before the baby is born, they prepare their home so that all that the baby needs, the bed, the pillows, the blankets, his clothing, milk bottles, and a lot more items are all ready even before their child is born. In the same way, God created everything with us in his mind we are the focus of god's love he surrounded the earth with an atmosphere to give us air to breathe and to protect us he made the birds to sing so that we know it is morning he enabled a centripetal force so that our earth rotates around the sun and we have day night and seasons he placed the moon and stars in just the right positions so that when it is dark, we are not overwhelmed by fear, but could behold the beauty of the night sky. God had us in His mind when He made all this. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 to 28 stated that God made us in His image to rule over all of God's living creatures. Imagine if you are a successful businessman holding your newborn child. You will be so proud of your child and all that is in your mind is that someday this little baby is going to inherit and run all your businesses. Will you imagine that this child is going to be one of your workers, labor and toll for you? Never! You only thought of your child coming into this world enjoy all the fruits of your labor and your success. That was how God felt towards Adam. God's plan was for Adam to have a good life, a life of no stress, no pain, no lack, a life of great abundance and happiness. God had great plans for Adam, and this is God's plan for everyone born into this world. This is God's plan for you.